Hey beauties, it's your girl Jessica Nicole and today we are doing the Instagram makeup versus the everyday makeup. Now to me, okay just to me, Instagram makeup, I wear it anytime I feel like it, okay? I wear it to work, okay? Before I serve them drinks, I am serving face, all right? So it does not matter to me. I wear Instagram makeup, I wear everyday makeup, I wear makeup, makeup, I wear dramatic makeup. It do not motherfucking matter just as long as I got on makeup. Feel me. Anywho, we are just going to get into this video and the reason why I'm coming to you guys very barefaced right now and looking very ugly is because I wanted to go through the steps with you guys. So yeah, my face is prepped and ready to go so you know we're going to start off with the brows. For both sides, I'm just going to apply my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Primer. This is going to go all over the brows. For my natural side brows, I'm going to an oldie but goodie. You guys do not know this, but I still use my dead brow pomade. just gonna go into my brow powder duo in chocolate and just apply a little bit of powder in those areas that need a little extra teal swing for this brow I'm using my Cabral in number four I'm going to carve out my brows I'm just gonna fill in the sparse areas with this first. So for my Instagram brows first, I brush my brow hairs upward to make sure my brows are defined the way they need to be. And I'm going to fill in the powder while my brows hairs are still brushed up. And just get up in there. All right, and then I brush the hairs down I get up in here. See where it's sparse at? Get up in there. For the bottom of my brows, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this is in the color Toffee. Just take a little bit, apply it to the back of my hands, and I'm going to clean up both sides of my eyebrows. And to clean up the top, I'm going to use my 177 stick foundation from Makeup Forever. I'm going to use my Sheer Glow in Macau on my natural side. Because I just love this foundation and I wear this every day. And usually when I'm going for natural makeup, I only put one layer on. I'm going to go over the eyes as well. For the IG side, I'm mixing my NARS Sheer Glow with my Makeup Forever, and I'm going to go in with layers of foundation to about two if I need it, or maybe three. You never know. Put one more on because we, you know, we gotta lay it on thick. Gotta make sure our face is covered. This side, I'm gonna go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and this is in caramel. We just gonna lay it on thick because you know we need that coverage. You feel me? the other side I'm gonna use my studio skin and my NARS I'm just gonna apply some of the studio skin all 
right? And I'm just gonna use like a touch of caramel from NARS. It's a touch or a little bit of highlight. Set everything with the Sasha Buttercup powder. So for my natural side, I'm just gonna press a tiny bit of powder in to my face. IG side, we're just gonna put a little extra powder underneath the eyes, just a little bit. Gotta get a little bit of cream contour in the mix. Totally forgot about that. I'm using LA Girl, and this is in the color Dark Cocoa. Alright, so I'm gonna use Dark uh, Mineral Eye Skin Finish from MAC, of course. Just gonna. Dust away both sides. It's gonna set the face, and I'm using the same powder for both sides because. For the IG side, we're gonna go in with some contouring powder. This is a contour powder from Makeup Geek and this is in the color Scandal. It's gonna cut the contour with some Sasha Buttercup powder. For the natural side, I'm gonna go in with my Veramore powder, and this is an antique brown. And I'm actually going to just bronze the skin up a little bit because it's more of a red undertone, but I'm also going to use it to contour a tiny bit. And I'm gonna go over this contour with the Vera More powder because of course, you know, one powder ain't enough. For the natural side, I'm gonna go in with the opposite side. I'm gonna go into dark, my dark mineralized skin finish, and I'm just going to just clean up underneath the Vera More powder a little bit. You know, cut the cheek still, but just a natural cut. So for this eye, just gonna blend it out a little bit. I'm gonna set it with my Sasha Buttercup powder. My MAC um, eyeshadow, and this is in Saddle. I'm gonna take my number 12 brush from BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to use this as a transition shade. I'm just bringing a little bit of dimension to the eye. And then I'm just gonna take this Vera More eyeshadow in Taffy and I'm just going to just deepen up that crease a little. I usually I just put on a winged liner and this is my Morphe gel liner in Slate. I'm just gonna make a really neat wing with this. For lashes, because I was not blessed with lashes like a lot of people, I'm going to be putting on the J Makeup Lashes from Lily Lashes, duh. So let's move on to my glam eye. 
first I'm just gonna go into saddle from Mac and I'm gonna use my m511 from morphe I'm just gonna blend that into the crease real quick just for a transition shade <laughs> And then I'm going to go into Swoon from the palette with the same brush. I'm going to blend that into the crease. Alright, so I'm just going to pick up my number 101 brush from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to go into Destroyer from the palette. going to take my number R38 brush. I'm going to go into Vox from the palette and I'm going to deepen that crease up. Then I'm going to go back into Destroyer with the brush I used with it. I'm going to help blend out Vox. We're just going to do my favorite eye look at the moment. So I'm just going to take some concealer and I'm going to carve out my lid as if I'm doing a cut crease. I'm going to pick up the color Harp Scored and I'm going to put that onto the lid. All right, so we're just gonna use my gel liner. We're gonna line across the lid, but we're not gonna wing it out. Take my number, I think it's 103 brush from BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to take black metal from the palette, which is a super black eyeshadow. I'm just gonna blend it into the liner. For the IG side, I'm going to be using my House of Lashes in Pixie Lux, of course. For both sides, I'm just going to line my waterline with some black eyeliner. I'm going to take gonna take a flat definer brush and I'm just gonna blend down that black pencil. Take my bullet blending brush and I'm going to go into Swoon and I'm gonna blend that pink down there. And then pick up Destroyer. For my inner corner highlight, I'm actually gonna use the color Love from the palette, which is this pinky color I'm just gonna there right here. For both sides, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara, which I think it is really good. For the more natural side, I'm going to go into my LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder. I'm just going to apply a little bit and I'm not applying it like wet or anything because, you know, you don't want the highlight to look super dramatic. I'm going to use my Laura Geller Gilded Honey. If I want them to see me from out of space, this is like the best highlighter to use. I just, you know, swirl my brush up in here. And then I spray it with my Pixie Glow Mist, right? And I'm gonna apply some of the LA Girl highlighter on top. You, you see that? You don't act like you don't see that. Can you see it? Because I see it. For the IG side, of course, I'm gonna use my True Brown K Lip Pencil. And I'm going to use my matte liquid lipstick, and this is in Dulce K. And for my everyday side, 
I literally take a brown lip pencil. This is the NYX suede lip pencil and line my lips. I'm going with my Link Winky Luxe Gloss and this is in Romeo and Juliet. But anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing it. And I might just, you know, try out this eye look because my uh, <laughs> it looks pretty nice. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I always tell you, like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all social medias and I will see you guys in my next video.